In today's episode of the vlog, I'm going to be doing one of my most favourite things. And that is showing friends who are guests to Scotland some of the best things that we have about this wee country. Welcome to this brand new four-part series, which I'm calling Take Me to the Highlands, in which we'll be going up to the Isle of Skye and seeing some of the most amazing sights that we have in Scotland. And to start with in this episode, we have some serious spider drama. Yay. Yay. Bonito. Oh, this is the first time I've done a vlog in the Scottish Highlands in a very long time. Very long time. Where are we, Tech? I don't know. Fort something. <laughs> Fort Augustus. Augustus There's yeah. Joanna behind us. And David as well. <laughs> <laughs> We're staying in. <laughs> We're staying in pods here in Fort Augustus. Look, they're like little cabin type of things. We're in that one, and David and Joanna are in that one there. We're neighbors. We're neighbors, and we're here for one night only. Just one night in Fort Augustus, because then tomorrow we're driving to Sky. I'm looking forward to going up there again, seeing what we can see, and I might even go for a swim mm -hmm. in the fairy pools. Mm -hmm. Hola. Hola Everyone's vlogging. To the ball? How is the house? It's beautiful. Little rabbits there, look. There's a little black one there. Another brown one there. I'm scared. Look at this. We're over the borderline of Loch Ness. That direction lives the monster. You can see there's and a that bridge. That direction is many miles of beautiful fresh water come off the mountains in the Scotch Highlands. Come on, I don't want to stand here. <laughs> nice light for filming here. Yeah. <laughs> so we are at Loch Ness for Augustus. Augustus. Augustus? Augustus. I think I've become Portuguese speaking. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> You're I'm the getting... one that you know. Nowadays I speak with a semi Brazilian accent. Same, semi Brazilian accent. Looking for the monster. <laughs> dun dun dun. Is that the monster? He's not moving very much. Don't see the monster, but it is actually turned into not a bad night. It was raining when we arrived here really, really badly, and that's why I didn't film. It was like a monsoon. But right now it's not bad. So we're vlogging here for this next few days in the Highlands. This is the first time I've vlogged in the Highlands for a long time, like a year maybe. And we're here with people who arrived all the way from New York. Joanna and David. <laughs> you guys appeared in my previous video in New York. You guys are here in Scotland for how long? Uh, 17 Seven. days. 17 days, oh my god. Yes. And you're seeing Edinburgh, the Highlands, Inverness. Um, well, Fort William. Fort William. Uh, Fort William. Yeah, and now here. And then we're going to go to Sky tomorrow. Yeah. Sky. That's yeah. going to be nice. I can't wait. Yeah, let's do it. 
But um, we arrived here pretty late, so we're going to go and get some food over there. We're all creating content on this trip, so I'm doing a vlog here. Tech is going to be helping me. And David and Juliana are also doing a video on Juliana's channel as well. Put the link down below. It had been a long day and we were more than ready to tuck in to a haggis dinner before bed. Mm. Oh my god, the sauce is really nice. Before we get started for day two, this is probably a good time to say we have relaunched our merchandise shop and you can find it at dreamingofscotland.shop or scan the QR code on the screen right now. We'll be adding a bunch of new items to the shop as we go along and absolutely everything you'll find in the store has free shipping globally while I'm also offering absolutely everyone 10% off their first order. Just use the code SASANAC at checkout and if you spend over £50, use the code 15OFF for 15% 15 off your entire order. Again, you can find that at dreamingofscotland.shop Wow, what a beautiful morning it is here in the Scottish Highlands, Fort Augustus. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, to get up and get ready and head on our next leg. Got a bit of a swollen throat thingy going on. These type of places, they're basically caravans. They're nice caravans, but they're caravans and this time of year, the dampness really starts to set in. And at night time when you've got the heating off, it really, it goes to my throat. So I'm really feeling it, but um, Joanna and David are in, in that one there. I don't know if they're awake yet. I'm gonna leave here in about half an hour. Wow, what a beautiful day. You can see that it has been wet overnight though. Everything is damp and wet, drips everywhere. To be honest, I think it's even calls already for Sunglasses to go on. Is that bright? Great morning it is. But I can really hear my throat. <laughs> Basically, we're leaving here in Loch Ness, Fort Augustus, and we're heading west. Sky is the destination today, which I'm really looking forward to. And if the weather was like this, it would be amazing, but I know from the forecast that it's not supposed to be. But it's not supposed to be like this right now either. So maybe we're just going to have one of those lucky days, I guess. Fingers crossed. Kind of a funny story. So last night when Tekka was in the shower, she saw an enormous spider, like the size of your hand. It wasn't quite that big. It was maybe more like that. But anyway, she it freaked huge. out. It was huge. It was actually pretty big for Scotland spider standards. Um, I grabbed the glass and passed it over to Tekka and Tekka put the spider in the glass on the floor and we didn't have any paper or anything so we could like kind of lift it out so it has been there all night when we leave this place in about 10 or 15 minutes we're going to release that spider back into its its home but it's been it's been in a like a kind of timeout zone in that glass overnight looks all right do you think, do you think it could be dead with no with no oxygen nah it'll be fine don't be your baby Sim. Só que tem muito aranha lá dentro. Dentro do negócio? Ah. Mentira. Grande, sim. Grande? A gente tem um agora tá preso num copo. Baby, tu escutou isso? Can I release the spider? No, no. of course not. I put your copo todo. Ah. Estou bem. Meu Deus. Ela tá lá dentro. Meu Deus, é enorme. <laughs> yeah, you can't leave the spider there forever. I need to let her go. <laughs> that spider. Don't turn the light off. Where? Yeah. Behind you there on the wall. That spider. It's not someone else's problem. <laughs> it's alive. 
Yeah, it's alive, didn't kill it. Lock up, and we're on the road again. We have arrived at Eileen Donan Castle. Everyone excited? Unfortunately, it's raining a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Not the and it was so sunny when we left. I can't believe it. We have bad luck with this place. Eileen Donan and Isla Sky, we never managed to get it with the sun. Let's see, maybe we've got two days here, so I'm not writing it off yet. Uh, Scotland, you gotta love it. One minute. Start the day off like this, beautiful sunshine. And then all the way driving here to Elan Donan Castle, and when we got here, the weather was awful. Really, really bad, like pouring down the rain. So we went for lunch. And now our lunch is done. Look at the sun. Brought some good luck with us, Joanna. Huh? You brought some good luck. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna go inside the castle. Yeah. I'm gonna go and like see if I can take some nice images around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Eileen Donan Castle is one of the most famous places anywhere in Scotland, and in fact is actually the most photographed castle in Scotland. You might be surprised though, it's not actually an old historic castle, at least not the one that stands today, which is only about 100 years old. Previous versions of this castle were knocked down, exploded and bombarded during various conflicts over many years. The castle that you see today was constructed between 1912 and 1932 by Lieutenant Colonel John McRae Gilstrap and including much of the ruins from the 1719 destruction. Literally can't believe the difference between when we sat down to have lunch at Elan Donan Castle this morning to now. It is like a different country. You just never can be surprised by Scotland's weather, like... You get four seasons in a day, especially this time of year. Um, anyway, Joanna and David are in the castle exploring. And we decided to come outside and just take some photos of the place from round about because it is so gorgeous. But um, we're going to hit on the road now. We're going to get back on the road and we're going to head towards Sky. This is not very far from here. The bridge is just around the corner. You can actually see. You can see sky from here? Yeah. Over that way? Yeah. You can see the hilltops. 